We have done lots of endoscopic care surgery route, including tympanoplasty and mastoids and glomus as well, with one handed endoscopic technique. What we are showing right now is a tympanoplasty procedure done with single handed technique. This is the step of elevation of the tympanometal flap, putting an incision in 6 o'clock to 1 o'clock uh, transcanal approach with elevation of the tympanometal flap. That's the step showing the elevation of the tympanometal flap. That is a bony hump which we, you, you, you will be able to see. That's the step of an elevation of the annulus. Annulus is being dislodged from the the, the, the fissure that it lies into and that annulus is separated from the mucosa as well, which is a very fine procedure considering the with the use of endoscope it is done with a great ease. Now we can see all of the middle ear with the TS patch and the canal wall hum. That's the whole middle ear cavity where the elevation, that's the placement of the craft. This is an endoscopic grommet insurgent procedure with the use of one handed endoscopic technique. We can see a great amount of the portion of the membrane in a single vision with, a, with the incision. We remove the glue and put up a chromat using the routine microscopic instrument that we routinely use for the microscopic surgeries. So we don't need any extra instruments for performing an endoscopic ear procedure. That's the procedure which we did with the step ear surgery. We did not have the whole video. So I had put up the pictures showing the crura cutting and stepidal tendon with the piston and the whole assembly along with the reposition of the tympanometer flap. This is again very helpful in approaching that. Now next procedure is the cholesterol removal with the help of the endoscope. That's the patient which we had done in postural approach with great visualization of the sinus tympana and the mesotympana with the facial recess along with the removal of the sac. That's the uh, canal and the mastoid approach. What we will uh, we were able to achieve with the use of endoscope, we, we could avoid a canal wall down procedure with the use of endoscopes, so that we could remove all the epithelium from the blind areas of the medulla with the use of endoscope. That's the step where we could remove the epithelium from the editors and the entrum. That's the position of the piston of the over the, over the window. Then next step is the cartilage placement and the graft with cartilage placement and with that we did the graft placement to temporalis temporalis fascia with reposition of the elevated canal skin. By the use of endoscope we could avoid the canal wall down procedure in this patient. This is a patient showing a pulsatile mass within the middle ear with a pulsatile tinnitus and MRI showing an glomus tympanicum or a glomus tumor adjoining within the middle ear cavity. That's the flap elevation. The middle ear was all filled with the blood, which we could easily suck out after the elevation. And we could see the lesion, which was attached to the jugular bulb and the uh, infra uh, in the middle ear cavity. That's the hypotympanum that the elevation of the separation of the tumor from the promontory that is the step showing the cauterization of bipolar cauterization of the tumor uh, then this step shows the removal of the whole middle ear tumor which was attached to the jugular bulb the, with the complete clearance of the intact vesicular chain that's the surgery cell which we had kept and that's the replacement of the tympanometer flap after the surgery. Thank you. That's how the endoscope helps us in achieving the result without putting a post-oral or an oral incision. Thank you.